Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Straight to the stage, they love me. love me I understand they hungry But please don't hate, that's ugly I've been sliding, shaking, moving I've been popping in my city Shawty say she love the way we do it Do it with me I be too turned up to ever give a fuck They been talking pennies I need bigger bucks About to catch a flight I need to switch it up Got that black boy joy Might do my dance on him Take no disrespect Might put my hands on him this chicken, now she wanna marry me. Okay. But she gon' need some closure and some therapy. No way. Came back to the city with my bank account on F. Ooh. Giving rappers hell, I know they happy that I left. Hi. Hit the south in winter, I just put down my deposit. Yep. 82 degrees, I left that jacket in my car. I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember. Good morning, you guys. Up. Welcome back to my channel. Just started the day, got ready, had some breakfast. Actually, wanted to give you guys an update. I don't know how many of you guys have Lidl near you, so I don't know if my reviews really count or if you care, but um, we just tried this spicy jalapeno sausage. It's only 70 calories for a link, and it's so good with eggs in the morning. Bomb. Also, update, I said that I didn't know what these are, and you guys are like, they're full eggs. They're actually not in the ingredients. It says egg whites but it says that it has the nutrition of 14 large eggs because it like uses, what does it say? It has the vitamins and minerals of a shell egg, but it's made with egg whites. Don't know how that's possible, but yeah. So it actually is pretty low calorie. All that egg I had this morning is only 75 which is pretty amazing and it's nice and filling, some avocado, really yummy. And then also uh, this morning my hair was just, she's been in a bun in the last two days. So I went ahead and just put in a pony and just like um, straightened it really quick. So looks so much better. It's insane what like a few seconds of effort can do, you know, instead of just leaving that puff on my head, wasn't feeling it. I have to change your battery, you're flashing. But before we head out for the day, it's been a while you guys, I miss my Converse so freaking much. So I'm just wearing, you guys already know, my favorite Abercrombie & Fitch um, shorts and then my black high tops and this is like a $5 top from Target. And underneath, I don't wear bras anymore you guys, I can't wear like underwire bras. So underneath I just have like this Amazon kind of like layering sports bra just gives it an extra layer so i'm not not sagging too much and you don't see the nips you know what i'm saying okay also my purse is from old navy it's really old and i need a new one but that's that i get questions all the freaking time on my bracelets these are miranda fry and today my necklace and my earrings are anna luisa and glasses amazon i think that's it so i recently um got into some five below videos on youtube and if you didn't know fun fact that was my first job i worked there for i think it was over a year i don't really remember but that was my first job when i was 16 years old i loved five below like was a big fan. I was like, I don't know how when I don't work here anymore, how I'm not gonna spend all my money here because I would always buy so much stuff working there. And now I just barely even go. Well, obviously coronavirus, it was closed. But ever since I stopped working there years and years ago, I kind of just like haven't really gone back as much as I thought I would. But when I fell into the hole the other day, I saw that they had some cute stuff right now, including like a really cute stool that can go really nice in here. And I'm gonna hope that they have it. But um, I know my mom loves to go shopping and I'm sure that will end up going to like TJ Maxx and stuff. So I asked her to get out of the house for a little bit. You guys, I need to get out of the house. I have been having way too many damn snacks sitting in here. I don't know if you guys can relate, but being home all day, it's so bad for my eating if I'm not like distracted. And like when I'm home, I'm working. So I'm sitting on my laptop, but it's like when you're just sitting there, you want to do something. Or if you're watching TV, I just always want to snack and it's not good. And also for my mental health to get out of the house is really good. Besides sitting in the backyard, I've been doing that, but to just get out human interaction 
we're gonna do that today. Also, Zane is actually back at work now, so it's like a good day. He's at work, I get to spend some time with my mom. I'm having my parents over for dinner tonight, so that'll be fun too. So it's gonna be a fun day, I'm excited. Really quick, because my mom's here. So, um, you guys know the days where you like go to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and like you're like not expecting to get anything, and those are the days where you get a lot. So, let's hope we can have some good finds today. I want to switch out these two rugs. I just want something new. I love change, and this one has just become like flattened and dirty, and I just want like a switch up in here, give it a nice upgrade. I'm also planning on upgrading this. You guys know the drill if you watch my videos. So, I'm really pumped. You guys know that I love me a good little shopping day. So, um, let's do it. Plant update, tomatoes are doing swell. We've got a few new bunches. These are growing like crazy. I'm hoping I'm gonna see some sprouting. See, like these are like flowers, aren't they? Last time I thought it was an eggplant and it was a freaking flower. My scallions are thriving, look at that. If you guys remember, I took like the ones that we bought from the grocery store and put them in here and they're just like regrowing like crazy, so cool. But yeah, no jalapenos, peppers, or eggplants yet. I bet they're gonna take a while. I also replanted some basil and I'm trying to get it to sprout back up, so let's hope, let's wish her, wish her well, okay? Okay, let's go. Hot outside, wow. Should I grab bags? Um, I have some. Kind of Why, what are you looking to get? I don't know. You know the days where you like you just aren't. Go to you're, below? You know you're not looking for anything. You just want to buy something? You're in the yeah, shop? but I know we're gonna end up at like Home Goods or something. You think so? <laughs> I went there yesterday. Of course. <laughs> oh, I, I sent you the picture. Yeah. All right, we're at our first destination. Five below. I forgot my mask. I think it's in my car. So my mom has an extra one that she's letting me use. You think it's gonna be big? Yeah. It's actually comfy. Oh, I was gonna tell you before, I wanted to come here because I was watching some videos on YouTube. They have the cutest little benches right now, so I hope they have them. Well, they're like little stools, but they're like really like, they look like high, like fancy, like expensive. Yeah, yeah and they're $5. So yes. I wonder if they're gonna have them. Yeah, they're like little stools. They what, look- What are they for? You'll see. They're okay. like wood. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna have them. I hope so. But I well, just want- the other five below. That's true. <laughs> There's a lot over here. I was gonna see if you would say, can you drive? <laughs> Hello? Hello, we're walking here. <laughs> My god. <laughs> oh yeah, hampers. Oh, I'm so excited. Look, there they are. Oh, they don't have the one I want though. They oh, had, I saw a really cute, it would just be cute in the house, but I saw a really cute one with like a um, plain beige pattern. Oh, yeah. Five bucks. Yeah, it's kind of cute. I thought there were kind of two things, yeah. Sorry, I just want to, like, there's a customer over there that doesn't have a mask Say on. Say that again? There's a customer over there that doesn't have a mask on. I just want to let you know. There's a customer that doesn't have a mask on. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, oh, you're welcome. You. You're welcome. I'm essential. Go vote. Social distance. I totally miss humans. <laughs> Look. Oh, yeah. There's a thing. Oh, there you go. Look how cute this oh, wow. is. Isn't that cute? Perfect. I love it. Is it outside? No, I'll put oh. it, I'm gonna put it inside. Isn't it cute? Oh, I'm happy. Yay. <sighs> There's cute cat things. Oh my god. That's basically a blanket though. <laughs> Play mat. Oh my god, they would love this. I'm gonna get this. This is so cute. That's big enough that big to put that in there. Oh, you don't want to get I need a yeah cart. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Left out with the hooshi. Laying game like 2D. I be kicking shit like Bruce Lee. Margarita to the brim tip. Black denim need a slim fit. Same people that I flex with be the ones that I'm in the gym with. I'm a living legend. You a dead cause and I'm dead ass. No, I'm dead right. Leaving early, but I'm here night. Long and short to keep the head right. Teed up out in Malibu. Got sand all in my good shoes. But I only came for the good news. I am the show that they came for. Hitting the target I ain't. Oh, look at this one's got a split, I think, in the leg. No. Look. Was there another one? Mm. I'm gonna change it. I'm not gonna sit on it. It's just to, like put a plant on it or something. Oh. It's okay. I ain't going back in there. Not impressed with Five Below. Immediately as we walked in, there's a man just completely without a mask on at all. So I think I might be becoming a Karen. I told on him. <laughs> I went to the front. I was like, just you know, there's a customer over there because it's not my place. I'm not gonna get into a fight with somebody to tell them to put a mask on. <laughs> but I do think that the people that work at the store should be enforcing it. And then we did see him walking around with one on after that, which was good. But also like, why are you in there in the first place with that one? Whatever. And then I saw an employee with her mask completely down. There was a few people with their masks halfway down. Everybody was up in our business walking right next to us. Did not feel safe there, so probably won't be going back. But I got my little stool, so I'm happy about that. How freaking cute. It does have a little split. How do I show you guys this? Right here, there's like a little split in the wood, but 
I'm not gonna sit on it, so. I mean, hopefully it won't break. It, it might, because it was only $5, but whatever. I also grabbed this Boom Chicka Pop, because I love their kettle corn, and this is like a light version that they had, so I wanna try that out. And then Zane and I, like when we do laundry, we always like am needing, am needing? We're always needing an extra laundry basket, so I just grabbed this like foldable one. It just says like laundry on it just so we have an extra one. Otherwise, we just end up throwing all the laundry on the bed, whereas we could just get an extra basket and just save the trouble. So, I also grabbed this for my cats because I think they'll love it. It's like a little activity mat and it's got like little like things on the edges and it's crunches and it'll just be fun for them to play with. And then lastly, I know that these aren't gonna last very long because they were super cheap, but I thought it would be cute. Um, just once in a while if I'm feeling a little jazzy with my earrings. Wait, these are all tangled up. I just thought that they were really pretty and like why not get little cheapy earrings that you can wear a few times because I won't wear these on a daily basis anyways but I thought that these on the end were really cute and simple that I can wear often but and they're really lightweight like I hate when earrings are heavy so grab those and that's everything and it was big what are you doing look at him oh my god it's a grasshopper right it's a grasshopper <laughs> okay Ooh. Okay, we're gonna attempt TJ Maxx, but if I feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna leave. But last time we were here, I felt really good. But I've had really good experiences at the stores that I've been to, but that five below was not not good. Let's see how TJ Maxx is. Look, must wear a mask. Let's see if they have a nice purse for me here. Look, this is similar to what I have on right now. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't love that this is just on one side. It's like unbalanced. <laughs> That's weird. These are so cute. Yeah. Would I wear these though? I don't know if I would wear them. Perfect. I found the towels that we already have because we just need new ones. But these are the ones that we have. That's perfect. I feel so much better in here. Why? You know, I saw on TikTok somebody take a cutting board and make it into a table. Like they put legs on it. You have to be big, no? This is like a small table. Yeah. That's cute. This is pretty. Is it a lazy Susan? No, it's just the cutting board. Oh, it is a freaking Lazy Susan. That's, that's some genius. I feel like this would be cute though, just sitting against in the kitchen, like against yeah. the wall. I actually have one on my counter, but it's a cutting board. It yeah, like that. for decor. For decor, yeah. So I've been looking for something next to the TV in the living room, and I really like these. However, these frillies at the bottom, my cats will destroy it. So I'm debating if I should just give it a try, because this would be so cute. It's only 25 bucks in the living room. Do I take the risk? Really? You could trim them. <sighs> I'm not gonna do it. I do need new rugs, Ma. <laughs> this is really pretty. This is a really pretty rug if you like blue. I need one for under the table, so five by eight, and then also the one by it's like the small. kitchen sink. I know that, but by the kitchen <clears> sink. <throat> oh wait a minute. Is it square? Oh, it's pretty. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a, a fat runner. Fat runner. Not fat runner, because a runner is usually skinny. 25. Where would you put it? In Let's front of this thing. Oh. Will it be too wide? Too, too I pretty. mean, you can move the island, right? And put it under it. You can do that. That's like what I want. Like plain. All right, get it. Your bad influence. Me? I don't have anything in the cart, Alyssa. Let me look. I wrote down how big the other one is that I have. You know, I'm going to put it in the cart. Yeah, I like That's that. Pretty. I wanted something clean. If you don't want it, tell me and I'll pay you half price. Four by two and a quarter is my other one. What's that? Four by two and a quarter is the one that I have there right now. Oh, why is it in inches? Three. Can you not break my new bra? Break it? <laughs> you just lifted up my camera because you thought it was going to break your bra. Excuse me, don't show my bra. The one I have at home is four by two and a quarter. This one is five by three. So if anything, it's just a tiny bit bigger. I think it'll look good. Yeah. I would love if it was skinny and long. That's a runner. I know. This is a fat runner. Okay, mom. But the one you have under your table now, we need to revamp that. I know. Right? I need to look for one. Like, but that's five by Something seven? simple like this. You don't think they have this in a runner form? It's not really the place to buy that though. Why not? You find some good, oh shit. They don't have, like, you know. You find some good finds. Regular store. Look at this, should I put this under the? <laughs> that's called jute. Jute. Look how much it is. I don't know, is it 20 or 50? 50. I like my prices better when I can't see. <laughs> Bailey girl, you wanna see the gift that mommy got you? Psst. Come here. I got you a present. Well, you're gonna share it with your brother and sister, okay? Wait, don't get scared. Wow. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> oh no, you just want 
have one side of the bag. I should just give you a bag. You could so totally easily make this, but it was only like $4, so it's worth it. Hi, Belly, I missed you. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. I'm actually gonna put you on the little stool that I got. Need a lipstick retouch real quick, please hold. I've mentioned this before, but if you guys are curious, Rum Raisin 800 by Revlon. That's the first layer that I do. But obviously that is way too pinkish reddish for my taste. So then I go in with um, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Send Nudes. Cause this one is a little bit too pale for me while I'm tanned. So the mix of them is pretty good and affordable too. Now we're ready. TJ Maxx haul. All right, here we go. We actually spent $111 at TJ Maxx, 111. I thought that was pretty cool. Of course we got shit that we didn't really need, but we did need some new dish towels. These are the exact ones that we have. They're just getting kind of old. Some of them have stains, so I wanted to grab a new pack and I was really happy that I found ones that we have. I got these for Zane. I always get these wherever I see them. Baby, I got you a present. I got you a present. <gasps> No way! <laughs> Yo! I also, I also got us these elderberry um, oh, vitamins. Oh, it's really good for you. Yeah, powerful immune system boost. It's good for your immune system, especially with the pandemic going on right now. I think it's good for us to take something like this. Let's see if they taste good. Are you good. taking vitamin D as well? Vitamin D is supposed to be really good for you. I think that might be in my daily gummy, is it? Probably, yeah. But I'm taking an extra surplus too. Oh, that's good that these are sealed. I didn't even check. You're having no, one right now. I was thinking about these the other day. Oh, this smells pretty good. Both of the Captain Lore box. Oh my god. They're both in there? Oh wait, no. Bailey's in the small one, Benji's in the big one. Oh my god, they're in each one. It says take two a day. Mmm. These are good. It's so bizarre. <laughs> what? I know, literally. I could just keep eating these. I love gummies. Underrated thing that I like that I always forget about. Gummy bears. Love them. These are really good. They look like little gummy bears too. Yo. Fifteen calories. Can you fit it in? It's good. Um, it's good um, for you. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll eat these then. No problem. I get so excited when I get to take my daily vitamin gummies every day. It's like a snack. Baby, okay, this is so good. You like them? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Look, I got new towels. Wait, I didn't show you everything that I got, so you have to wait a second. I also grabbed these sweatpants because I have a sweatpants addiction, and they were only ten dollars. I don't know if they're gonna fit, but. I hope that they're high-waisted because they just look so comfy and on the inside they're like soft and they're like joggers at the bottom. I just, when it starts to cool down here, like I'm going to live in sweatpants because that's what I lived in all beginning of quarantine. I can never have enough because I go cycle through them really quickly and I don't want to do laundry all the time. Bella's lip is up. Belly. She looks so funny when she does that. She like this. And I also found these, these are um, Yogalicious. I have leggings from them and I love them. And I've been cycling through my biker shorts really quickly lately because I only have a few of them and I love to be comfy. Now I have another pair that will add to the rotation because I have to wash them so often because I don't have enough. And then I got a new rug for under the sink. I wanted something that was already flat because the one we have over there has like frillies on it. And when we've been, it's a high traffic area of the sink, obviously. So it's like flattened down and just doesn't look good. And um, we kind of try to have a no shoe rule in here. So hopefully this will stay relatively nice and clean, but it is like, it has like tan colors in it. So even if it does get a little dirty, it won't be as noticeable. It is a little bigger than the one that we already have, but like- It's really nice. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah, I like it. It's simple. I wanted something that was really simple. I think it'll look nice. Worst comes to worst, we just move the island back. Oh, I got this soap for in here. Nice packaging. But you gotta smell it. Farm Fresh Verbena Lime. Smell that, it smells so good. Oh, uh, it smells super clean. Lime, right? Yeah. It's like limes, love that. And then I also grabbed myself two oversized t-shirts because I don't know, I just feel like I like could never have enough. Oh, what? I don't know if the neckline is gonna be too wide on me, so we'll see, but I got this one in a men's large, just an Adidas t-shirt. $9.99, so why not? And then Calvin Klein, $12.99. This is an extra large. So comfy, but even if I don't really like love the way they look to wear out, I can wear them like to sleep too. Cute like loungy wear. And then, oh, I also grabbed some mascara because I used to use it all the time and I just fell off of it, but Glam Black it's in and it was $3.99. These are usually like $9, I think, at like drugstores. So um, I wanted to give it a go again. And yeah, that's what I got. Oh, I didn't show you five below though. I got this. 
Nice. I got this for our cats. Oh my god. It's a crinkly mask. Babe, do you love it? I got these earrings. Oh, these are nice. Cute, right? Mm -hmm. I like them. Oh, also I got us this because we always like need an extra. Let's see how big it is. Oh, it's kind of small, but... Oh, that's cool. It's like a foldable bag so that we have an extra... Because we always need an extra... Yeah. And yeah, then, I think it's a good size. Yeah, and then we can just... I just realized, what's that? You got a stool? Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's what I went for. A $150 later. It's like, um, I don't know, just to, like put somewhere and maybe put a plant on it or something. Okay, let's switch out this rug, see what it looks like. This is the one we have right now. As you can see, it's just like all whatever. I'm probably just gonna wash it and then donate it. But let's give her a little upgrade. Peace out. <laughs> losing it. Losing it. I am losing it, but I'm losing it. Oh, this little stool's gonna come in handy. <laughs> Leave it in here. Too big, folks. You approve? Oh, approve stretches. <laughs> you like it? Okay, I don't know. I can't tell if it's too big. I feel like we need one that's thinner like it's just too wide I don't mind the length of it but I definitely think if it was like cut down a little bit it would look better like as if it was like a runner rather than wider hmm it definitely feels really cozy though and I love how like simple it is I probably will keep this just because I can use it anywhere else but I don't know if right here it will work yeah it kind of just looks a little awkward I think we need a, lo a like longer runner in other news do you guys love your new toy you're playing with it the little things in life i knew that they would love this because every time we come home from shopping like grocery shopping they're always in the bags like benji loves bags so i think this resembles that like good for him what is english i need to eat lunch <laughs> i just showed zane the rug he said he likes it and it's up to me i just folded it to see how it would look thinner and i just think a thinner rug would look way better so i might look online and find something similar but this rug is so cute maybe i can put it in the living room We'll see. At least you guys like it. That's a good thing. For lunch, I'm gonna make this uh, barbecue chicken teriyaki. I got that from Trader Joe's a while ago. And then some rice cauliflower. I'm gonna make like a little mini bowl with it. I don't know, I'm hungry. It's two o'clock. My parents are coming at like 5.30 for dinner. So I'm just gonna have a little something for lunch. Microwave, yes please. Easy peas. I'm gonna do like a cup and a half. And we're gonna find the sauce. Oh, I see it. Sauce, teriyaki. Oh wait, I can put it in there with it. Yeah, why not? Please hold. Wow, the satisfaction that that just brought to my life. Then we're gonna mix her up with the sauce. Perfect, it's like kinda liquidy, so now I can mix in some cauliflower rice. I'm back to tracking my calories, so we'll see how long this lasts, but it's so easy to just weigh everything. By the way, I'm looking online and there's so many options. I just need one that's two foot wide. This one is three, and I was like, oh, that'll be fine, but a whole foot is just too, too big. So I'm gonna go with like a five by two and I'll just order one online. Being extra lazy, ripping up some scallion. <laughs> Perfect little lunch. I hope it's good. <laughs> this looks like the teriyaki chicken that like you get in the mall from like those styrofoam containers. And I love that. So I hope it tastes like that. Mmm. A little bit more of a milder flavor because I think it's just less sauce, but very satisfying. The scallions make it so good. <laughs>
right, I just cleaned down the kitchen. The table is ready for when my parents get here. And now we are going to start cooking. So first things first, on the side, I'm making some carrots and asparagus. So I just have the oven preheating to 425. And then for dinner, we're making these spicy fried chicken sandwiches. Well, they're air fried from Skinny Taste. I've made these before, so I'll link down the video um, where I made these like in depth so you can see step by step. But they are so, 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 so delicious. And my dad has been telling me how obsessed he is with the Popeye's fried chicken sandwich, which I agree. It is amazing, but this is air fried and it tastes like fast food So I want to see how he reacts to it and what he thinks of it and I've been wanting to have him try it So tonight's the night first things first. I am lining two baking sheets I want to get these veggies in ASAP so that way while they're Cooking up in the oven. I can make everything else spray Okay, carrots in the oven have become my favorite thing Literally just olive oil, salt, and pepper into the oven. Quickly give them a peel. Perfect. Personally, I like carrots that are on like the slimmer side. I feel like they just cook a little bit better. They're not as crunchy. They get like a really nice texture when they're smaller and they cook quicker. So I'm gonna go with like thinner carrots. Go ahead and snip off those hard ends. The knife that I'm using is in my Amazon store. It is so worth the investment. Now I'm gonna cut them on an angle. HelloFresh taught me this. This is where I got this recipe from. And then if I feel like this one, I think it's gonna be too thick. It's not gonna cook the way I want. I'm just gonna slice it right in half so that it's smaller. Wow, I don't even think that's enough. I should do more. <laughs> I'm gonna put them right onto my baking tray. Yeah, that barely even filled up the tray. Okay, we're gonna do some more because I like having these anyway. Like having them made will be good because leftovers like to heat up the next day in the air fryer. Yes, please. Having food prepped is just like life changing for the next day. So I don't mind if we don't eat them all, but we probably will. <laughs> all right, let's try this now. Screw it, we're going for it. <laughs> Might as well use the whole bag at this point. I didn't realize how much once you like cut it down, it turns into like not a lot at all, so. All right, carrots are done. These take the longest, so I'm gonna get them right into the oven so they can start cooking up. About a teaspoon of olive oil right on top. Some salt. And pepper. Get them right into the oven. Damn it, I wasn't even recording. <laughs> when did I turn you guys off? I don't even know. What I was saying was, to save time, I know you could just snap the asparagus, but I'm just gonna cut. And I did a really nice, satisfying cut on all the asparagus. And um, here they are, so. You missed it. <laughs> For these, I'm just gonna make sure that they're nice and flat and give them a good spray of olive oil. You guys just saw me make these the other night, but whatever. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and some grated parm. This doesn't have the best. Okay, there, there she is, all right. I'm not gonna put those in just yet, but now they're ready. If you aren't familiar with this recipe, here is what we are making, spicy fried chicken sandwiches. It is in. <laughs> The Skinny Taste One and Done Cookbook. It's on my Amazon store. So now what we're gonna do is make this little slaw that goes on top and sit that in the refrigerator while we make the chicken. Get a nice decent sized bowl. Two teaspoons of red wine vinegar. Actually, the last few times I made this, I only had white wine vinegar, so I'm interested to see the flavor difference here. Two teaspoons of olive oil, almost there. Perfect. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. One nice teaspoon of that, and salt, and pepper. Whisk that all together. Should look like that. Now we're gonna add our slaw to it. So, quarter of a red onion. Peel, and we're gonna thinly slice. All right, break that apart a little bit, and throw it into your mixture. All right, next up is our cabbage. One and three quarters cup cut thin. This is so fun, you guys. I feel like I have my own cooking show. <laughs> I'm gonna start by just slicing off a little bit on the edge. So satisfying. And we're gonna thinly slice. Throwing that into my strainer and I'm gonna give them a quick rinse under some cold water. I could have used my salad spinner, but it's full of lettuce right now and we don't got time for that. So make sure it's nice and dry with a paper towel. And now we're gonna make sure that it's enough to go in here. So we need one, one cup, and three quarters of a cup. Wow. Getting pretty good at this cooking thing. <laughs> now, a jalapeno. You guys gave me the little trick 
to go like this and it definitely helps get that middle out. So I recommend this little hack. So I go ahead and slice off that top, slice it down the middle, and then I kind of just take this out over the garbage. That way the seeds fall out and you can easily just scoop out this little middle part that we don't want. The rounds are definitely more satisfying in this, but I forgot. So we're just gonna do little strips like this and that's how it's gonna go in here. And then last step, usually I don't have fresh parsley, but now I do in my garden. So I'm gonna grab about two tablespoons of chopped up parsley and then we're gonna combine. All right, here we go. Here's where the magic happens. Get it really nice and combined. Make sure you get the little mixture at the bottom all over everything. It's gotta be nice and coated. How amazing does that look? It looks pretty well combined to me. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and then we'll toss once we're ready to top it on our sandwiches. All right, next up we're gonna make our coating. So I'm gonna take just like a shallow bowl like this. We're gonna start with some panko breadcrumbs, one cup. Half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Seriously, that's all you need. These are nice and spicy. And then some salt and pepper. Mix that all in. Now I'm gonna get the air fryer basket ready and they're gonna go in the air fryer. That's it. All right, dinner is served. Got, hello? <laughs> Turn. Turn. <laughs> dinner is served. We got the sandwich, the slaw, carrots. They're already impressed with my carrots. They're like, these are good carrots. So let's see what you think of the sandwich. I'm so scared. I hope it came out good. Go, 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 go. First. Mom first. Yeah, really like I hope it came out good. Oh my gosh. It's spicy. What is it? <laughs> no. No, not at all. You just say that about everything. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? The Popeye's chicken sandwich obsessed. Mm -hmm. See if this suffices. Uh huh. Mm. Uh -huh. Good. Not bad for an air fryer. Good. Right? Mm -hmm. Delish. Yay. Now I have to take a bite and make sure it actually is as good mm -hmm. as usual. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I some juicy chicken right there. It's definitely a different flavor than Popeye's, but to me, like the texture of it tastes like fast food. Oh, I miss this. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Two full shots. What? Two full shots? Well, because it's a big glass, but... Yeah. No, we gotta try to make the friendly super milk. They make that. We've done that. Yeah. It tastes so good. It's good. Really? Right? On Texas toast, right? You can buy the Texas toast. That's the only thing. We need Texas toast. Mm -hmm. And we started buying bacon now, but <clears throat> I haven't made it with bacon yet either. So I think with Texas toast and bacon, it'll be like spot on. I get the chicken like super close. Mm -hmm. Really? Use like Sweet Baby Ray's and you fry it. Mm -hmm. I forgot about going there to eat when we go, oh, what should we eat? If we want to go out to eat. Mm -hmm. He um, does it with the melted cheese and the ranch. It's good. Oh my God. That melted sandwich. We can make it soon. Mm -hmm. All right, dinner was bomb, and now I was showing my dad these um, cinnamon rolls that I got from Lidl. They honestly were kind of disappointing, but he also just brought up the point that it's cinnamon rolls, not cinnamon buns. That could be an issue, but we were like, okay, let's upgrade them a little bit. So I made this homemade icing. I'm not a baker, but it's literally just powdered sugar, water, and vanilla extract, and we put it on top of them. Well, now it doesn't look as cool as when I put it on there, but we're going to see if it... Okay, 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 okay. Wow. That's good. Let me try it now. Okay, try it. Let's see if it made it any better. Probably. It's sugar and vanilla, and it's warm now. We warmed it up. Oh, night and day. Really? <laughs> oh, bro, that's night and day. <laughs> Jane, try one. <laughs> he can't. He's counting calories. <laughs> okay. Pull a little more. Okay, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. Night yeah, I day, made bro. icing. Are you proud of me? Good job. I usually suck at baking stuff. Now you're going to eat them all. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, but you didn't try it when it was crappy. It's a dry, curly thing of nothing. Oh, dry, really good. dry, sad cinnamon roll. It's time to get a little crazy tonight, you guys. We're taking out the six-in-one fun bag. <laughs> I got this from Target, and it has been our favorite thing. It is so much fun, and it was literally like five or six dollars from Target. So I'll link it down below for you guys. They have it on their website, and it is amazing. Don't knock it till you try it. I don't care how old you are. Been too long. I wish that we could turn back time. 
Wow, so beautiful out here right now. Night. Baby, you gotta look at my lettuce. Yo, yo, lettuce is popping. You got your phone? Uh, oh man, we're shining the light. My lettuce is growing. Oh shit. Baby, we need light on it. Okay, I can see it clear as day. I know, but you can't see it on camera. My uh, lettuce. Alright guys, my parents have left. I've just been relaxing for a little bit. Do you want attention? You love attention. Or you just want to relax there? She loves to sit like on my shoulder. She'll like lay her head down and just fall asleep. I don't remember if I updated on that rug, but I decided against it. I tried it in the hallway. I tried it in here in the living room. As much as I love the rug so much, it just wasn't the right size for there. And I found some pretty good options online. So I'm just going to go ahead and order one online. Anyways, today was kind of slow, you guys, but... Uh, my outdoor table is getting delivered so I think in the next vlog or the one after that probably the next one though you guys will see the table for outside and it will pull everything together I've also been planning some fun recipes to share with you guys in the upcoming vlogs as well so I get excited for that so anyways oh my god it's past midnight it's Bella's birthday we're gonna celebrate that in the next vlog my baby's nine my baby Girl, look at her. Oh, you were just laying so cute. I bothered you. How does it feel to be nine years old? Are you so happy? You're gonna have some treats and yummy food. It's gonna be the best birthday ever, okay? Are you excited for it? It's like she knows that I'm talking about her. Mwah! Say kisses. Thank you for wishing me a happy birthday. <laughs> My big girl, I cannot believe you're nine. Don't get older, okay? Just stay, you can stop now, stop growing. Today's notification shout out goes to Lillian Exon and she asked me, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? I love your videos, thank you so much. And I thought this would be an interesting question for those of you that are new. If you've watched me since the beginning, you already know this. But um, a few years ago, hmm, probably almost five now <laughs> thank you bell i'm very bad at time but i think maybe a little bit before i started my channel so yeah i think almost five years let's go four and a half years ago um i was a huge fan of all the diy girls so alicia marie ava gatowski um mia who else was in that group sierra Fatado. i have like pictures with all of them i went to their girls night in show and i got like a meet and greet and <clears throat> i loved youtube i loved watching it i obviously was obsessed with these girls i was young and i loved watching like the diys i thought that's what i was into sorry for the fans by the way if they're loud and i had no thought to start my channel until i went to the meet and greet of the show because there was a show and a meet and greet and they were the nicest little angels that i had ever met they were so sweet to me talking to me asking me my name what i do da da da, da like just really really nice and i it kind of like really inspired me i was like i want to be them i want to be her and so I was like on a walk with Zane and I said, you know, after the show, I really got inspired and I was like, I think I want to order a camera. And I used my parents' um, college money that they had saved up for me and I ordered a camera. Didn't know how the hell to use it. So if you go back to my old videos, they well, don't do that, please. I just gave you a bad idea. 
They are all so horribly lit. They're all differently lit. I did not know what I was doing. Um, I don't even use the DSLR anymore because I'm just not that kind of YouTuber. Like, I thought I was like a DIYer and special, like, editing. No, 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 no. Liz likes to just pick up the camera now and talk about real shit. So, <laughs> I definitely went through a YouTube journey. That's a whole nother thing. Um, so yeah, that's basically what inspired me to start. I went to this show and I s actually watched them to this day. I stopped watching that content because I just wasn't really interested in that kind of crafty stuff anymore. I'm the opposite of crafty actually now but it comes full circle because now that they're older I'm older they're making more content that I'm more interested in so I actually watch their vlogs now so by them I mean Alicia I watch now and I love Remy Ashton but she wasn't in that show so uh, thank you so much for your question if anybody else would like a notification shout out go ahead and comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time bye guys I